It's a permanent space. This doesn't come and go. It's not a feeling. You're not going to feel high and feel low. This is constant. You recognize that. That is here all the time. And it doesn't come and it doesn't go. In that recognition of the presence which is here, settling down in the kingdom of heaven is where you discover a continuity which is here of the being and the bliss you feel from it it's a low dosage it's a low volume electrical dosage it's just like small voltage but it's continuously sends this bliss signals continuously it's very very low dosage but it's constant it doesn't spike up and down it's not a feeling it's not a state are you honest do you understand what i'm saying Make, please pay attention. I want to explain this part again. Please pay attention. Most of us are on spiritual path, me included. I was there. I made this mistake. I made this wrong identification. I would go sit with the master, with Punjaji, with Robert Adams, with other teachers, with Amaji. I would, was in John of God, sitting in the Casa, whatever, wherever I was, whatever teacher, master, shaman, healer situation. And you get really high. You get like really, like you come to the God Godhead. You get really, really like expanded and amazingly dissolved into the oneness but then you come back into the world and the mind comes and quite often it comes much stronger and you get these mind bombardments so you are up here and you sink down i'm not talking a feeling i'm not talking a state States could be manipulated, especially you can do meditation or you can go be running for a long time or you can smoke a joint or have a glass of wine or have some good sex and all of a sudden you feel good. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about something deeper inside, which is steady. It's steady. It's not a feeling. It doesn't come and go. It's, it's not a state. It's a presence, which is here. And you recognize that by bringing your attention towards it. And you recognize the presence, which is constant. And it's always here. And you recognize that when you become quiet. You have to become quiet. That's a requirement of it. It's a 100% requirement that you need to be quiet. So you get quiet and you feel the presence. And this presence is not conditional. It doesn't come and go. It's always here. So the more you recognize it, the more you understand that you are this. The more you understand that you are this presence, that's your true identity. So that becomes the foundation of your movements. Now, anything on top of it is gravy. But you notice it. You, your attention comes to it. We're coming to the end of the academy. Uh, our next academy is going to be on uh, next Wednesday. So um, I'm having two events. I have a shamanic healing circle tomorrow. 
Uh, it's a two hour event and uh, you can register if you would like. Uh, you need to go in my website, zaratustra.tv and then go to the calendar uh, part and click on the event. Shamanic Healing Circle, we're gonna do some shamanic healing. I haven't done one for, I think, three months. So I think I was, we were, I was due to do one. Uh, and then over the weekend, uh, Saturday and Sunday, uh, from 9 to 1, I believe that's the time. Is that right, Hilde? You, you, know, you know the hours from 1 to 1, 9 to 1, two days. It's going to be Ascension to Fifth Dimension Workshop. And in this workshop, uh, my goal is to help you and give you the tools and methods of A, showing you how to raise your vibrations to a higher frequency. B is helping you to shift from this identification with a body and a person who's experiencing separation all the time. The sense of separation which is inside us that we're separated from everything else is I'm going to help you to pop out of it so you can come into this place of oneness and experience it and learn how you can do it on your own. So fifth dimension that we speak about is not a place on a geographical map or it's not somewhere outside of here. It's not somewhere you have to go to. It's something which is already here. And it's something that your higher self is, resides in fifth dimension. All your intuitive knowing is coming from your higher self. It comes from your fifth dimensional self. So fifth dimension is a shift in your perception. It's when your perception shifts and your perception from an ego-based, individual ego-based, based on separation, shift into the recognition of the oneness. The recognition that there is no separation. In fact, let's say, for example, I'm going to use, okay, so this is my book. So let's say we're all, all of us together right now, we are parts of this book. We're pages of this book. Every human being, everything is a page in this book. So, so it's one book. There is no separation. So page, let's say, se 78 cannot go in conflict with page 79. They're all parts of this book. So when awakening happens, when you're, you go into an expansion, of recognizing yourself, what happens is you begin to see and notice that everybody that you're looking at, whether they're good or bad, they're pretty or they're ugly, they're big or small, small they're tall or short, they're sweet or they're bitter, they're dangerous or they're safe. They're sweethearts or they're assholes. You begin to see that there are yourself. They're part of you. They're different pages of you. It's yourself. Because nothing's separated from anything. 
It's your own self that you're discovering. So in this exploration of recognizing yourself in all and all in you, what happens is, A, your self-judgment begins to fall and also judging others begin to disappear because you recognize that it's one being appears to be many. It's one being wearing all these masks. You pull this mask out, you look inside, and you just find God. And you walk into anyone else and pull their mask. No matter how evilish that person is, no matter how much of an asshole they are, you pull their mask and you see behind the mask the same lady, the same being, which is behind this mask. It's the same one that appears as many. The one that appears as many. There's only one. There has never ever been another one. And the seven billion people you see around the world, they're all expressions of the same one. There's only one of us here right now. I am talking to myself. I'm looking at myself. I'm looking at different faces of myself. How many different faces and forms that I have? I'm looking at that. Whether I like the form and the face and the behavior, the smell of the, the one I'm looking at, or I don't. They're all myself. So in that recognition, fear disappears. And freedom replaces it. So if you're interested in Ascension to Fifth Dimension Workshop, I welcome you to join us. Uh, we start on Saturday. Uh, it's going to be this coming Saturday and Sunday. And the shamanic healing uh, circle is tomorrow. So go to my uh, website, zaratustra.tv, and uh, you get all the information you need. They were also posted it on Facebook, and we have Facebook uh, event pages that you can go and take a look and get the information. Uh, my email is uh, info at zaratustra.tv. Uh, feel free, free if you want to uh, send us any comments. If you have any questions, uh, you can reach out to us. My uh, This video is uh, of this broadcast today is going to be uh, posted uh, on YouTube, on Facebook. And we also, those of you who sign up with us through the Zoom, we will send you a copy of this uh, video. Uh, in a few days. But if you go on my YouTube channel, Zaratustra 5D, if you want to subscribe to it, and there's hundreds of previous videos that we have recorded and we have uh, published them uh, for, for you to look at. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. It's been an honor to be at your presence once again. God bless you, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Namaste.